The immune system is made up of special organs, cells and chemicals that fight infection. The main parts of the immune system are white blood cells, antibodies, the complement system, the lymphatic system, the spleen, the thymus, and the bone marrow. The immune system is a complex network of cells and proteins that defends the body against infection. The immune system keeps a record of every germ. It has ever defeated so it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it enters the body again. Abnormalities of the immune system can lead to allergic diseases, immunodeficiencies and autoimmune disorders. The immune system is made up of special organs, cells and chemicals that fight infection. These are the parts of your immune system that actively fight infection. The immune system and microbial infection. The immune system keeps a record of every microbe it has ever defeated, in types of white blood cells known as memory cells. This means it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it enters the body again, before it can multiply and make you feel sick. Some infections, like the flu and the common cold, have to be fought many times because so many different viruses or strains of the same type of virus can cause these illnesses. Catching a cold or flu from one virus does not give you immunity against the others. White blood cells. White blood cells are the key players in your immune system. They are made in your bone marrow and are part of the lymphatic system. White blood cells move through blood and tissue throughout your body, looking for foreign invaders such as bacteria, viruses, parasites and fungi. When they find them, they launch an immune attack. White blood cells include lymphocytes, and many other types of immune cells. Antibodies. Antibodies help the body to fight microbes or the toxins they produce. They do this by recognizing substances called antigens on the surface of the microbe, or in the chemicals they produce, which mark the microbe or toxin as being foreign. The antibodies then mark these antigens for destruction. There are many cells, proteins and chemicals involved in this attack. Complement system. The complement system is made up of proteins whose actions complement the work done by antibodies. Lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is a network of delicate tubes throughout the body. The main roles of the lymphatic system are to manage the fluid levels in the body, react to bacteria, deal with cancer cells, deal with cell products that otherwise would result in disease or disorders, absorb some of the fats in our diet from the intestine, spleen. The spleen is a blood filtering organ that removes microbes and destroys old or damaged red blood cells. It also makes disease fighting components of the immune system including antibodies and lymphocytes. Bone marrow. Bone marrow is the spongy tissue found inside your bones. It produces the red blood cells our bodies need to carry oxygen, the white blood cells we use to fight infection, and the platelets we need to help our blood clot. Thymus. The thymus filters and monitors your blood content. It produces the white blood cells called T lymphocytes. Fever is an immune system response. A rise in body temperature, or fever, can happen with some infections. This is actually an immune system response. A rise in temperature can kill some microbes, fever also triggers the body's repair process. Common disorders of the immune system. Allergic diseases where the immune system makes an overly strong response to allergens. Allergic diseases are very common. They include allergies to foods, medications or stinging insects, anaphylaxis, hay fever, sinus disease, asthma, hives, dermatitis and eczema. Autoimmune diseases. Where the immune system mounts a response against normal components of the body. Autoimmune diseases range from common to rare. They include multiple sclerosis, autoimmune thyroid disease, type 1 diabetes, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis and systemic vasculitis. Immunoglobulin therapy. Immunoglobulins are used to treat people who are unable to make enough of their own, or whose antibodies do not work properly. This treatment is known as immunoglobulin therapy. Until recently, immunoglobulin therapy in Australia mostly involved delivery of immunoglobulins through a drip into the vein known as intravenous immunoglobulin therapy. 
Now, subcutaneous immunoglobulin can be delivered into the fatty tissue under the skin, which may offer benefits for some patients. This is known as subcutaneous infusion or SCIG therapy. If you are looking to avoid getting sick or avoid catching flu, click the link in description below to grab your free copy of a secret guide which unveils how you can boost your immunity to 100% with just a simple weird little trick. If you have found this video helpful, please like this video. It really means a lot to us. And if you think it might help one of your friends, don't be shy and share this video with them as well. That way, we all can help people we care about to live happier life. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive more informational videos that will improve your health and lifestyle. Thank you for watching this boost my immune system after chemo power video and we will see you on our next video.